All right guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a zero stop washer for the Athlon uh, Midas BTR scope. This particular scope that I've got here is the um, four and a half to 27 by 50 millimeter uh, MOA scope. And for the money, this is really truly a, a great scope. Uh, this is definitely a budget scope. I think they run around $450 to $500, uh, which is, you know, for some guys a lot of money, but it's a great scope. The only downside to this scope, really, honestly, is the, um, the elevation turret doesn't have a zero stop, uh, a true zero stop, I guess, if you will. So I'm going to show you today how to make a zero stop. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is run down to your local hardware store and pick up um, one of these cap thread gaskets. This is a number one cap thread gasket. This is made by Danco. And it says the internal, dyna internal diameter is um, 13 sixteenths, which as I measured it is exactly correct. However, it needs to be a little bit bigger than that. Um, you might be able to play around with a couple of different sized cap thread gaskets. Uh, unfortunately, I picked up two of the same exact size for this particular project um, and I didn't feel like running back to the hardware store. So I'm going to show you how to modify this gasket if it doesn't fit your scope. Um, this one didn't fit mine exactly, um, but it works pretty closely. So I've already got them installed. I'm actually going to pull them off of the scope real, real quick here and, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly what we need to do. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got the turret cap removed, and as you can see, just a normal turret cap for the Athlon scope, nothing fancy about it. Um, you'll notice in here that I have this little piece of 3M tape. Um, this is actually a washer, like a little 3M washer piece of tape, washer tape, that I had from an old Leopold scope on setting the zero stop for one of their scopes, and so I used it in here. Um, it's extremely thin and it provided me the exact amount that I needed to get mine to zero stop. You may or may not need something like this. And, and here's my suggestion is, is obviously it's probably going to be pretty difficult for you to find something like this. So really don't worry about this. We'll just use extra cap thread washers um, and I'll show you what to do. So this is the actual cap thread washer and I'm going to get it to zoom here. I've got two of them that I'm using for this project. They're different colors, but they're the same size and they're the same thickness. And I had to modify this a little bit and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you why here. So you can see this is gonna sit on this black ring right here. And it needs to be about the thickness or a little greater than the thickness of this silver ring right here. And so when, when I purchased this from uh, my local hardware store, and I'll tell you real quick, um, I looked all over for these things. Um, I looked at Home Depot, I looked at Lowe's, I looked at True Value. The only place I could find these was Ace Hardware. And again, I don't know whether um, you've got an Ace Hardware in your, in your area or not, but you can buy these online. Again, it's the Danco number one cap thread gasket. These are in the plumbing section at your hardware store. So this, when I first bought it, would not fit over the top of this ring. Um, and you'll see it, it kind of sits just barely slightly above it. So what I did is I took my pocket knife and I held this onto the table and I literally, this is a uh, like a paper gasket, if you will, and it's it's really stiff. Um, it's hard material, it's like a, a hard wax paper. And I literally just carved out the inside of this, worked it all the way around, carved off enough material with my pocket knife, just working it around like this on both these gaskets until it finally fit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna install it right now and show you what that looks like. So you kind of have to work it around until it pops on. Um, and like I said, I just had to keep removing enough material until it fit on there with my pocket knife. It took maybe 30 seconds. And then for this particular rifle, sighted in where it's at, it's zeroed right now. 
Um, I tried it with just one that didn't work. So I tried it with two and this one I just set on top of there, um, set it on top of the other gasket. And then, like I said, I needed just a hair more for mine. So I added this little 3M gasket. Um, you could maybe, you know, buy three or four of these, experiment with them, shave them down a little bit if you need to. But ultimately, then it's the same process. Then we're just going to put the turret back on and we'll show you what that looks like. All right guys, as you can see, we've got the turret cap reinstalled and we've got our zero line mark lined up with uh, our zero mark where we're dialed in. This, this rifle and this scope is zeroed in at 100 yards. And obviously now we've got our turret set to zero. So I'm gonna show you how the zero stop works with the gaskets that we've installed. Um, it's not gonna be a true zero stop. It's not gonna stop right at exactly at zero and it's not gonna have that real affirmative stop. But um, it's a pretty good fix for the cost of this scope. It works really well. And for a couple of bucks for those washers, um, it's definitely well worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial up. And I apologize if you can't hear the clicks. I've got my camera zoomed in here, I'm trying to give you guys a good view. Um, but it stops, it actually goes about three clicks below zero. And like I said, it's not a real hard affirmative stop, but it does stop. And then there we are, we run out of clicks and we know that our zero is right there. So it works pretty well. Um, so overall, the Midas BTR is a great scope. Um, it's got very good optics. It's comparable to, um, if not better than a lot of the other scopes in the $500 market. Um, I would say the glass clarity is very equal to the Athlon Ares BTR. The Athlon Ares BTR is just a little bit better. You do get some vignetting. It's very minor at 27 power with this scope, whereas you don't get that at all with the Ares BTR. But realistically, um, you don't need to use 27 power. I think 20 to 25 is plenty on this scope, and you don't get any vignetting at those at those powers. So uh, overall, it's a very good scope. It's um, a great budget scope. Again, it's a great great scope. You can get a zero stop. Um, just use these Danco cap thread gaskets, um, and you can see the dimensions on there if you can't find this particular brand. You can order these online. I think they're like 95 cents a piece. Um, I paid 99 cents a piece. Um, and again, that was at Ace Hardware. And if you don't have an Ace, look around or look online and you can find these. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and enjoy.